Hello and welcome to Healer at Home. Today we're going to have an extreme porch declutter cleaning session. As you can see, our seven person household um, entryway porch is a bit of a mess. It had just gotten to the point where you couldn't really get through um, the back of the area. So I basically decided I was going to take a day to clean it up and it did require nearly a full day. The first thing to do obviously was to basically shift everything out of there. This is where all of our shoes and all of our accoutrements and some of the things that require cool dry places are stored. So our apple cider vinegar, our homemade apple cider vinegar also lives there. And the cobweb situation was pretty terrible so we had to get the ladder um, out as well as the storm guard on the door which i hadn't been cleaning and i didn't realize how important it is to actually stay on top of this so mm, yum yum i had to use an old plastic fork to get into those grooves to get all of that <laughs> muddy stuff out but it was fun uh, trying to figure out the best way to actually uh, clean it and try and get it a brand new and like with most cleaning processes i just ended up you know uh, taking things just a little bit further a little bit further until i became quite obsessive about trying to make it look brand new also a lot of scuffs on the walls that had to be scrubbed down and once those were scrubbed down everything was beginning to look nice and fresh so i decided to go for the floor as well with uh, just soap and water and a, a scrubbing brush and it turned from black to gold guys you see how much dirt was on that floor <laughs> and then uh, the next thing to clean was this uh, wonderful shoe caddy i think i got this from costco but this is just amazing um it's where we keep our shoes um, and each person has got a level um on there for their shoes and you would think that would make sure that we wouldn't have too many shoes because you've got a limited space for each person but that wasn't the case and i had so many shoes that the children had grown out of so we have five kids um, and so there were a lot of shoes that they haven't even worn in three years that were just in there so we selected those to the ones that were donatable we took them to a charity shop and the ones that weren't we binned them and uh, that's our welly uh, station there. So all of the wellies got cleaned and uh, put uh, away. It was beginning to look and feel a lot fresher once we put everything back and all the cobwebs had been removed and everything had been given a good mop. And as you can see, it actually looks more accessible. So we've got bird balls over there because we love the birds, always feeding the birds. And there's this really wonderful organizational feature. It's like a... A place to hook your keys as well as your brooms and cleaning stuff so hiking boots specialist shoes like your snowshoes your hiking boots and just spare school shoes I just put them in bags and got the kids to label them and so I have some fancy shoes that I couldn't figure out what to do with but for the meantime I just popped them in carrier bags so that they wouldn't get dusty and put them on that homemade um, apple tray that we used to use for apple harvests so after that we went outside and those are the things that i decided that were good enough to be donated and those were uh, sent off to the charity shop and uh, separately this did so much damage to my nail polish but everything was looking good looking great and we put our home sweet home little mat that we got from wilkers here in the united kingdom and don't you just love that feeling of a clean fresh porch and then I realized that, oh no, the door was really dirty as well. So might as well clean up the door, which is so much fun to do. So I got the hose and just, you know, sprissed and sprayed to make sure that we got all of the cobwebs off and just really shine that red door and the fittings and everything and make it look as clean as if it was the first day that it was installed and everything was looking great until I realized that um, I needed to replace the plants because the plants on either side of the door were dead and there we have it everything done with the porch clean ready in time for spring I hope that you found the video entertaining useful and motivational for your own spring cleaning until I see you next time remember to subscribe and like bye